Okay, it's been a minute, but we had to eat dinner. This has cut. So I'm gonna cut it off of here and take a peep at it. Okay, so I have decided that I like the blue stencils the best, these. And so I'm gonna cut out some more from these dividers. And I'm just gonna show you how I got those ready. So I'm just cutting off the tab and the holes. And then this comes apart. You get a big piece and a big piece folded. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. And then I'm gonna cut these edges off because they stick out on the sides of the Cricut mat and I'm not using them anyway. And so when you do this, this gives me see how big is this uh, five and three quarters by eight and a half and so I'm gonna do that one two one two three four I'm gonna do this one more time I'm gonna do it on the yellow If you really are digging this color and material, you have a little tab here that you can save. Apollo, baby, that cat is not gonna hurt you. You can walk past her. The dog wants to come in here with me, but the cat is blocking the door and he is very upset about it. Apollo, baby. I'm just gonna set these to cut and then I'm gonna get to stencil in some of this stuff that I have made okay so I have these two small pieces here I've got my Cricut mat set and then this the big piece will fit this way and cut so let me load this and get busy. Okay, while that's going, oops. I'm going to tear everything up. It's fine. Load this. So, I pulled out another piece of the cork, several pieces of cardstock, and I need to weed these and try them out. So that I think is what I'm about to do is weed these stencils and see how they work. Let's start with this. This is basically like vinyl. But it. Oof. Okay, so it's going to tear my paper. So that's not going to work on paper. Let me try this on the cork before I even waste my time. Well, it pulls up the cork which doesn't surprise me. Okay. Let's try. I feel like that's the same. Canvas, maybe? I 
think it might work on the canvas. Now that it's been on the canvas, still, still tears the paper like a lot. Not too bad on the. Okay, let's do that. Let's unsticky it a little bit and then try it on the cork. I need weed this. I'll be back. I think that I need to get a new blade in because this is not cutting like hardly at all. And so I've tried different settings and I really think that it is the blade, which doesn't surprise me. I haven't changed this blade in eons. So I'm gonna try to get a new blade and try this again later. For now, I'm just gonna play with what I have. Uh, which is the trees and the stars. And then I have Merry and Bright uh, Leaf and Starburst. So I have pulled out a few Christmassy colors of paint. I got me a palette out. And then I pulled this out because it's got palette knives in it. I think I want this one, but I'll pull it up. Okay. Sorry about all that racket. Santa, I just don't think Santa's going to work. It's so thin right there. I have some ideas, though, for these. So, stand by. Let me move that out of the way. And then I never did look in here to see what these are. These are little screens, like screen printing or whatever. Let's see, we got a star, a diamond, a heart, a circle, and a cross. So those are options. And then I do still have my Christmas trees, the wood grain, and um, I think that's all. I also pulled out a couple of things. I have a couple of things set aside in my stash. This. And then I have these I could use if I wanted to. So we're just going to get to playing. So, I want to start with this because I feel like I might can make something work here. But I also feel like this is going to be a nightmare to work with because this is essentially just Cricut vinyl, in my opinion. And Cricut vinyl is not that good quality to me. It never wants to come off the backing. So let's do it from the side and see how that goes. I did spend um, probably an hour weeding and honestly probably didn't need to because it looks like the pieces that I did not weed at the end, which I was just gonna let it do its own thing, are weeding themselves. Which is fa fabulous, but also annoying because I could have just, ah. Son of a gun. Let it do its thing. It's fine. It's 10 o'clock at night. And I'm determined to get some kind of something on here. 
because I've been doing this since about, I don't know, two. But I've had a few breaks. My sister-in-law came and brought my wife some birthday things because tomorrow is her birthday. And then we had dinner and hung out for a minute. She's upstairs playing with her birthday gift, which was a VR headset. Uh, that I got her. This is really making me very angry. And honestly, had I known that this was vinyl, I probably would have not spent $10 on it and would have just used some vinyl. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, and now it's stuck to me. <laughs> Does anybody else struggle this much in their craft room? Because I feel like I'm always struggling. Okay. I'm going to start by sticking it in the middle. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like it's really not that fine, but what choice do I have but for it to be fine? I did hang it off the edge a little because I don't really want that, a hard edge on it. but I would have messed it up. Is this going to peel off? Do you think? Yeah, it'll peel off. I don't know how many um, uses I'm going to get out of this. So I need to decide what I want to put on it. What do I want to put on it? Let's just go for it. Let me get it out of here. Wait. Okay. Just do it, Michelle. I don't think this is going to be something that I get to reuse. Nope, it's ripping. It's fine. This is all an experiment, right? So it's fine. I 
look like a crime scene. <laughs> it's probably a good thing that it's not. That are not my favorites. There's that. We'll let that dry. And this is garbage. Looks like a crime scene. Look at that. I look like I murdered someone. It's okay. All right, so let's try this. On this side, how about that? With gold. Is it gonna work? Let me scooch this to dry over here. How do I deal with this? Does anybody else have problems with Cricut Vinyl not wanting to come off the backing? Because me and Cricut Vinyl are not friends. I feel like this is supposed to be attached better to each other. Oh, what's happening? Why is it doing that? So it's really thin, like right in here, in these little corners, and when you try to peel it, it just breaks, which is the same problem that I was having with this one, is that it was just breaking. And I thought it was the settings, but I think it might just be this. Okay. So this one's not the best for a stencil, even though it's part of the stencil bundle. I bet the actual stencil, like that should be held together. I bet the actual stencil is better. Cause even when you just pull the, ah, uh, see? Okay, I'm just tearing it up, it's fine. Okay, so this is garbage hour of my life I can't get back okay let's see if this one will peel off and I'll do it over here in green how about that let's see what it looks like hopefully we won't have the same problem I feel like if this wasn't as sticky as it is, it would have come off of there much easier over here, and it would have been used, been able to be used more than once. That was my plan, was to use it more than once. Come on now. Too many pieces.
Should I use the transfer tape? It didn't say that I needed to do that. I bet transfer tape would have made this easier. But then the transfer tape would be sticking to everything. I'm gonna peel it off. It's gonna be fine. Everything will work out, or it won't, and then it's fine because we've learned something. should have used transfer tape and that this is not fun for me flexible stencil film and I are not friends I am going to keep this backing though because I feel like I can use it to put things on same with this one peel that off and just use the backing as a palette because I do still have two stencils that I made and the two that I didn't so let's see how this isn't even going to let me peel it off I've got stencils stuck under my fingernails some washi to hold this in place. Do this side too. I don't know where I got this washi from, but it's super cute. This is drying just fine. So far I do like it. like that. not too bad I think I it seeped because it wasn't on it wasn't held down good I think I should have expected that I need to go rinse this oh that's pretty neat mess but it's neat okay 
is though? While we have this out, let me try something else. Try something different. This is probably not the right color to use on cork. And it is popping up. Uh-uh. Well, actually, I don't even know. seeping under and that's popping up. That's what we have as of right now. I'm going to let these dry. She rinse these. Okay, so here's what we know. We know that the vinyl stencil, or what is it? Stencil film, flexible stencil film is sticky, and it's a one-time use kind of thing. And the Mary and Bright worked very well with it. The And it keeps it from seeping. This one doesn't didn't seep as much. Um, the plastic stencils work well, but I need a new blade. Uh, but they do seep with paint. So we'll try ink next. Um, and then we'll try, woo, we'll try this stencil, which will probably be very much like these. They seep because they're thick. So that's where we're at. Um, do want to try some texture paste or modeling paste on the cork so I might do that real quick and um, get a new piece of cork let's try that um, actually let me do it on these Maybe not on these little ones, but on these two. Let's try that. Let's get a hunk of it. So this is just light modeling paste by Liquitex. I'm just going to take a little hunk of that. I want to use this stencil, I think. I think I want to do some stars on it. I just want to do white. Okay, so voiceover, Michelle. Things got a little bit rowdy and crazy when the wife came down. Again, I'm sorry. You can hear the dogs barking. They never stop. You can see me here mixing gold, Liquitex gold paint in with this Liquitex light modeling paste. And I'm fixing to spread it through that Tim Holtz stencil um, to onto that piece of cork. And honestly, I really love the way that it turned out. 
I do think that out of all the techniques that I've tried over the last two days, because I've been crafting for two days, I just haven't got all the videos edited, that the stamping and texture paste on the cork are my favorite, and the texture paste period is my favorite. I haven't stamped on paper yet, so we've done cork and stencils. I did acetate today and started with some paper, but haven't got too, too far with it. So... We're gonna do uh, paper next, uh, probably tomorrow. So I've got extra modeling paste, so I'm just using that stencil to put some on paper just to kind of see how that looks. And um, spoiler alert, it looks great. Um, this modeling paste is really thick white, and so it dulls whatever you mix it with down just a little bit. Um, I do think that uh, I should have fast forwarded through some of this stuff. So I've got gold there and then um, I think I'm going to clean everything up maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just using a water spray bottle. Yeah, a water spray bottle and paper towels to clean this up instead of getting up and having to go to the sink. So I'm just uh, cleaning this enough to keep using it just to get the gold off so it doesn't mix with everything else. <clears throat> I'm fixing to get ready. We're going to um, a couple of towns over to celebrate with a friend of ours. Today is my wife's birthday and it's also her birthday. So she has is turning 40. So it's a bigger deal than 35. Um, and so we're going to go to Jefferson and party like rock stars. <laughs> Kidding. We're too old for that. So you just saw me scrape off some gelato, some red sparkly gelato, and I'm mixing it with the modeling paste. Um, I really love to do this technique, um, when I'm using gelatos. So gelatos are kind of like, um, thick crayon but they're water soluble and so I really like to mix gelato with modeling paste or texture paste or whatever you want to call it um because it colors it really well kind of gives it a soft look and so I've just mixed some red <coughs> excuse me my gelatos are kind of older I've had them a couple of years they're Faber-Castell gelatos and I got them on clearance look at how pretty that is and then I think I'm gonna pull out a piece of red paper yeah and do some tone on tone stars so I think my um idea for moving forward with these um because I'm just spread texture paste all over a bunch of pieces of paper is to use those for embellishments. Um, the cork, I think I'm gonna use uh, the, with the paint on it. I think I'm gonna cut it out with some punches or um, maybe cut some numbers out of it. And with these um, papers, depending on how they look, cause some of them, you know, didn't turn out as great cause the stencil moved or it's seeped. Um, those I probably will just use as ideas, like put those in my little binder of techniques. And uh, so I can have those to look back on, just label them with what they are. But the other ones I think I'm gonna turn into like journaling cards and embellishments. Gosh, that's just so pretty to me. So I'm fixing to clean the red off of this stencil, which doesn't work quite like I want it to. And then I'm going to mix up some green. So the green gelato that I have wasn't quite the right tone of green that I wanted. And so you'll see me mix the gelato with some of the Liquitex paint. And I think that turned out okay. Um, so as far as these stencils go, I have used these stencils multiple times this day that I'm um, doing this, the recording. And then I also used them several times today. And honestly, they turned out really good. They're still holding up well. 
uh, the ones that I made with the page dividers, they're holding up very well. And I'm quite pleased with how they've turned out. So, so here you see me adding some green. I had thought I would use the green paint and then change my mind and thought, well, I'll use the gelato. <coughs> and then I ended up having to use the paint anyway. So, I just take that gelato and just scrape it on the edge of that well in the um, palette and then just use the side of my palette knife to mix it in. Kind of squish it and scrape it and get it all mixed together. I really love, I think this is what I love about crafting is that you can pretty much have full control of what you're doing, of whatever you want. You can make your own colors and mix your own supplies. I'm, I mean, I made my own stencils today. I just, I love crafting. It's my favorite thing. Not everything turns out exactly right. I learned that today, but that's okay. That's part of the fun. So now I've got this, I've got that canvas three by four canvas journaling card, air quotes. I don't really know what it is. I don't even know where I got it. <clears throat> I do wish that I had some more though. So I'm gonna have to try to find some of that canvas stuff to use. It's got like a backing on it, almost like those canvas strips that came in the main kit for Allie Edwards. They've got a backing on it, but I don't think it's adhesive. And that turned out okay. The stencil moved a little. Um, which seems to be a common occurrence. I'm going to try to scrape the last little remnants of this onto the stencil. Onto the green paper. <coughs> Turns out I don't really have enough to do that. But I tried anyway. It's fine. Just kind of wanted to get an idea of what it was going to look like. And I've pulled that up close to me to dig out the last little bit of it. So I need to try to do some research about the best way to get these stencils to hold still because I keep wiggling them and that makes the image or the whatever I've done slide just a little. Didn't get a good look at that because I've had the video fast forwarded. So now I'm just going with this gold on top of the green. I didn't clean it in between and it kind of gives it a green gold or almost like a yellow green hue to it. And I think that looks okay. This dog. So he hears very well him and our hound. We have a blue tick hound and he is a black German shepherd and mix and they hear everything. And so the neighbors across the street, I guess they must not have a backyard because they are all the time out front throwing a ball with their golden retriever. And I think Apollo can hear it. And that's why he's been barking like crazy. Also, um, my craft nook, it has a window in it and it faces the front of, of our house. And so I've had the window shade open just a little bit today for some natural light. And you can see that everybody's got family coming in, probably for Thanksgiving. And I think all that activity has really got him and his panties in a bunch. So now I'm just cleaning the stencil, trying to get all of that paint and modeling paste off. I will tell you, I did not clean off my palette because the palette is made of plastic and Liquitex paint or acrylic paint, I, um, used to paint like on canvas all the time, like big canvases and stuff. Done a few commissions. Um, anyhow, that's not the point. The point is, is that I have quite a bit of experience with Liquitex and acrylic paint. And once it dries, it is like plastic. And so you can just peel it up. So now I've got this sponge and I am just sponging this paint into this stencil and honestly it does not turn out well the paint seeps up underneath i wonder if i used heavy body paint and scraped it across like i did the texture paste if that would help um 
I'll have to try that. I don't, I'll have to dig around and see if I can find my heavy body paints. But like I said earlier in this video, it's late. It's like 10 o'clock at night when I'm doing this. And so I'm really just trying things out while I have supplies out to see how they turn out. I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm doing right now. My desk is a hot mess. It's been a disaster for a couple of days. Tomorrow when I get up, that's the first thing I'm going to do is really do a deep clean and reset. Oh, I'm fixing to, I was finding a brush so I found these little, everybody talks about how expensive these little brushes are, but I found these on Amazon for, I want to say only like six bucks. Um, I got them about a year ago. Anyhow, I am just using some of this uh, archival ink to run through the stencil. And I'm pretty sure that I must not know about archival ink. I don't know. I, me and ink are not friends, but it stains. Okay, I think I am done for the night. So I have some texture paste stars, ink stars, which, by the way, uh, archival ink stains. <laughs> Should have known that, but I didn't. It's fine. Um, ink and stencil with a sponge. Not quite my friend. It's fine though. Let me see if I can pick this up. Just giving an overview of what we've done. Texture paste on this canvas. I don't know yet what I want to do with that. I'm hoping it uncurls once it dries. I have some texture paste on cork, which turned out very well. Paint on cork with stencils. Texture paste and gelato. Texture paste and gelato here and texture paste and paint there. So I'm gonna let all this dry and then come back tomorrow and see what else we can get into. I would like to emboss on some cork. And um, I would also like to cut some vinyl to put on some transparency. So this is today, stencils, stencils and cork. That's where we're at. So turned out okay, not too shabby. All right, so I'm probably gonna turn this into a video and then everything else that we do into separate videos. So I guess it'll be like a little December daily mini series. So come back for more if you want to see us get messy again. Thanks for hanging out in the Crafty Nook. Bye.